Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady again. I've just come back from Hawaii, and of course the family really loves lau laus. And so I brought home taro leaves and tea leaves, and this is what we need to make it. And I have here some nice pieces of belly pork. So all we have to do now is salt the belly pork. So I have these chunks in here. I'm using Hawaiian salt from Hawaii, of course. You can use any kind of coarse salt since in Vegas, it's hard to get Hawaiian salt, but I like it because it's from Hawaii. So just sprinkle generously and then I'm gonna mix it up. And that's, that's all the seasoning that you need. Very simple. I went to Tamashua Market in Oahu and I bought fresh taro leaves from Tamashua Market. It's a very famous place to shop. So I've separated the smaller leaves and the bigger leaves. You have to kind of wash them. I put it in a bowl of water and I kind of shaked it all out. This, it's not very dirty. It's just a little dusty. So I separated the big leaves from the small leaves and I also have the stems. Now, when we were kids, we were told to, my mother used to grow taro in the stream and we have to string the uh, stems just like green beans. But I found that it's not necessary, so I didn't even do it. So I might not use all of the stems, but um, another dish I'm gonna make is dried taro stems made sweet sour Chinese style later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some taro leaves and some bigger leaves and a few smaller leaves on top. So all I'm doing is I'm putting a piece of the salted pork. Some people will use pieces of salted black cod or in Hawaii we call it butterfish, but it's quite expensive and I didn't get it this time. Some people also put chicken, some people put beef and also some sweet potatoes. But the traditional way is just pork and probably some butterfish. So in this case, I'm just using plain pork and it's pork belly. So pork belly is a little fat, but you need the fat in between to make it moist. If you use a, like a pork loin or something like that, it'll be super dry. If the leaves are very big, like some of them are even bigger than this, probably three leaves will be enough. And uh, these smaller ones, I just get a little handful because I don't have the real big leaves. So, you know, it's about, probably about, oh, you, you can see how thick it is, a one inch thickness. And then all you do is you gather it up like this, like a bundle. And then I have tea leaves. And I didn't, I, my friend gave these to me and she grows them. And some of the tea leaves will get very big, like two feet long, but that's really too big. So I got the small ones. And I'm doing it the very simple way. There's different ways of tying this up. This is the bundle. It's quite tight. It's the size of probably a baseball. And all you do is you put it on the right side of the leaf and you just roll it like a package. And like I said, this is the easiest way to do it, but there are several other ways, but it takes more time. Put it the opposite way so that the taro leaves are covered. And you see, I've cut off the stems because they're very tough and you wouldn't want that. Okay, now I get the string and I tie it like a package, cross tie. Ready to tie. And then just turn it around. and cut it off and you see I have the ball of string in a package so it doesn't contaminate it and then just tuck this under and tie a knot or a bow so that when it's cooked you can just pull the strings and it's easier to come out and that's the finish finished lao lao. lao is put into a stainless steel steamer now I brought this from Hawaii uh, because I never seen the stainless steel steamers here in Vegas. But I like the steamer like this because it's easy to clean and the aluminum kind of discolors and 
it's not so nice, but this one scrubs really nice. And I can pack a lot of leaves, uh, lao laos in here, and there's another layer that I'll put on that you'll see later. I'm gonna do a second one, and just to show you how simple it is, it only took a few minutes to do it. You just have to have the right supplies. Now, I know many of you live where there's no taro leaves available, but I'm sorry, in Vegas, you can buy some from some of the stores, but they're $8 a pound, and it's ridiculous. In Hawaii, I got this for two something a pound. And so all you need is some bigger leaves and maybe about three of this size, three or four, and then maybe five or six of the smaller ones. I forgot to add some of the stems, so I'll put a, a small handful of stems in here. Then you add a piece of meat, and that's it. You see how simple it is? In this part, I could put a piece of sweet potato, chicken, beef, fish, whatever you want. Or you can make it uh, vegan, just vegetarian, no meat. Now you just gather it up. And like I said, the finished product is the size of a baseball. And then I have, uh, oh, and then if you don't have taro leaves, you can substitute collard greens or spinach. Some people use it. Of course, the taste won't be the same, but at least it's something that you can make. And if you don't have these leaves, you can either use foil or you can use from the Chinese stores, the dried bamboo leaves, which are a little bit smaller than these but that'll also work too. And possibly some, uh, some lotus leaves, you can use that too. Those are also dried and very big that you have to cut up. Okay, here we go. Now just put it on the leaf, roll it one way, and then put it over here, roll it the other way, and that's it. You see how easy this bundle is? I'm going to tie it. Pull it tight and go the other way. I cut my string, tie it in a bow for easy taking out, or you can just cut the string off. And here's your finished lao lao, second one. So you see how easy it is? You can do it. And if you don't have a steamer, you can use a big pot and put a rack or a bowl underneath and then stack all the lao laos. Now, as it cooks, it'll shrink. So sometimes I'll, I'll put more on top and cook it. And this is after the water boils and I get all of this in, I steam it for four hours and then it's done. As I mentioned before, you can use an alternative to the lua leaves or the taro leaves. So right here is uh, about two cups of very packed spinach, fresh spinach that I got in a big bag from the store. I'm gonna put in about half of the spinach and then put a piece of pork here. The other half goes on top to cover it. And then just bring the foil together. And this way, wherever you are, you can make lao lao. And if you have collard greens, you can experiment with that too. So this is the finished product. No tying and no need for the tea leaves. And then I'm just gonna put this in the steamer and steam it with the rest of them. Just put it in the steamer with the rest of the lao laos and you're good to go. These are the bamboo leaves and I've soaked them in water for half hour to 45 minutes and I've kind of folded it down and weighed it so that it's softened. So it doesn't take long. So what I'm gonna do, because the leaves are very small and skinny, I'm using two leaves for each side. Now this is the, this is another luau bundle that I'm just gonna squish up and make it into a ball. And then I'm gonna use these two bamboo leaves one way. It's a little tricky to do but I think this works really fine, as you can see. Now the other side, you might have to use a little bit more string, I'm not sure, maybe not. So I'm gonna tie it just like I did the ones with the regular tea leaves. 
So very simple. And I think this works really well. And the, there's a smell to it that uh, it, it'll be nice too. You can smell the bamboo itself. Okay. And just, I'm doing the second lao lao using the bamboo leaves just to show you again how easy it is. Just keep it tight and taut. And there you go. It's almost like wrapping a Christmas present. Very easy and it comes out perfect. Just like you would a package. And then cut the string off. Now I've shown you three different ways of making the lao laos, but basically it's all the same. This one is the traditional with the tea leaves. This one here, we use spinach. Like I said, if you can't find luau leaves, then use spinach or collard greens. And then we put it in foil in case you don't have tea leaves. In this case, I use bamboo leaves, which are the Chinese, you can get them in Chinatown. And so they all look the same. They're very good. Now I'm going to put this in a bit, the big steamer. And I know it looks really full, but as it cooks, it'll shrink down and then I can press it down further. So we'll put the cover on. I already have water in it. There's 14 um, lao laos in here. So now I'll put it on the stove, bring it to a boil and simmer it for four hours. So we'll see you then. The lao laos are done and they've been steaming for four hours. So I took them all out and some I've saved for dinner and others I've frozen them and they freeze very well. This is the traditional lao lao with the tea leaves. I'm gonna open it up and like I said, when you tie a bow, see how easily it comes out. And I'll just unwind the leaves and they're all together really nicely. And then I'll put them on another plate. And there's your lao lao. The leaves are very soft and you can see the meat in here. Okay, I'm going to taste it, see how it is. Cut some of the leaves and get some of the, the pork belly. Really good. Mm. The meat is very tender and the leaves are super juicy and soft so you can just cut it with a fork and eat it. And it's tasty. I cooked it for four hours, but if you want it more tender, the leaves really, really moist and soft and the meat easy to chew. Right now it's flaky but if you were to cook it, maybe even up to six hours, it'll be fine. You really can't overcook this. So it's very delicious and very juicy. The next one I have is the spinach one. Remember, we put it in foil. Now I'm opening up the foil one. And this has spinach. You can see that this spinach seems to be a lot more tender. Well, it's because the spinach is very fine and it cooked down really nicely and it's very juicy also. I'm just cutting a piece open. You can see how soft and tender and moist it is. So this was two and a half cups of packed spinach, but you see, there's almost nothing left. So now let's taste it. Mm. Very good, very tender, and really, if you don't have access to taro leaves, the spinach works fine. I really like it like this. If I didn't have taro leaves, I would use spinach, and really, you, you won't miss the flavor so much. As I said, you can also freeze these. 
pack it up really nicely, put it in a Ziploc bag and throw it in the freezer. You can keep it up to maybe three to six months, just depends, but you probably won't let it last that long, especially if you have family who wants to eat it right away. Now, we've bought some from people who, who make this as a partial living. And one time we bought uh, some Lao Laos that were only like this small. So it's about, about half the size of what I'm making here. And each one was $5. That's really expensive. So this goes to show you that you can make it yourself for just a fraction of the price. It's the most thing, expensive thing is the meat, but then, and the spinach is relatively cheap. So try it out and see what you can do with it. So the official taste tester wasn't available today, but I have a special guest here. This is Lily Koi, or Lily. And I know she's looking at it, but I'm sorry she's not allowed to eat it. So please make this because no matter what part of the world you're in, you can make it to look very authentic and you'll impress all of your friends. And I've showed you several different ways using foil, using bamboo leaves, if you don't have the, uh, the um, tea leaves. If you're a subscriber already to my channel, mahalo and thank you very much. But if you're not, if you're a new person, please subscribe because it helps my channel to make great recipes like this. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you can get notified when we make great videos like this. Lily, where is that bell? Yeah, girl. <laughs> mahalo and thanks for watching. See you on the next video.